Boy, Stanley Cup final is certainly a familiar place for the Penguins, but for the city of Nashville, it certainly is a brave new world. The culmination of a couple of decades of close calls and a passion for hockey that is finally paying off. Smashville is loud. And it's proud. But all of this almost didn't happen. Ten years ago, businessman Jim Balsley was once in line to purchase the Penguins, who was set to buy the Predators and move them to Hamilton, Ontario. But Nashville businessmen and fans rallied to save their team. The Preds play inside a packed Bridgestone arena and boast the best in-arena environment in all of sports. Celebrities fire up the fans to record the game. Some even share their singing talents. There are sure to be Penn's fans in Smashville during the Stanley Cup Final, but if you're looking for a ticket, you may want to steer clear of Section 303, known as Cell Block 303, for its rowdy, chanting, Fans. Zebra, zebra, short and stout. Find your head and pull it out. Of course, by now, we all know about the catfish. It's been a thing in Nashville since 2003 and expect to see it again. One group of Preds fans has vowed to bring a 50-pound catfish to throw on the ice during the cup final. Special thanks to the CBS affiliate in Nashville for sharing so much of their video with us this morning. Before the postseason, by the way, the Predators had never advanced past the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Now they're in the final. Along with the fans and the catfish, you'll also find Rich Walsh in Nashville. He continues our coverage in the Pens' quest for a second straight Stanley Cup. Rich and Bob Pompiani continue our team coverage of the Pens in tonight's newscasts.